Live like seven miles away. Took me an hour 45 to get here tonight. A lot of cones out there. Passed a sign and said, hit a construction worker, $10,000 fine. If you find a construction worker, there should be a $10,000 reward out here. <laughs> hit one. The balls on these people, I'd love to hit one. Give me an opportunity. I'm a gambling man. One in a million, I'll take those odds. That 14 years in jail would be a bargain. At least this road would be finished by the time I got out. Maybe. I'm nervous. These people putting up big, flashing, interchangeable billboards for everybody to see now. Uh, 792 people have died so far this year in cell phone-related accidents. What they don't show you is how many people that have died trying to read that sign at 60 miles an hour. You see, uh, 700 and boom! You know, some guy had a switchboard. It's like, ah, oh, Jesus, 793. <laughs> go, why is that sign even there? They go, it's for your safety. It's for your safety. You go, for my safety? A rolling death count on the highway? <laughs> for my safety? The number never goes down. Every year you're just beating the high score like a progressive slot machine. Is it possible this isn't the safest way to translate this information? It's just bullshit. It's a way to make money by paying some government official to push a button. That's all it is. They don't care about your safety. It's marketing. They, they don't even show you the number until it gets high enough. <laughs> it's marketing decision when they can show you how many people have died so you know to drive safe. Look in January. The sign will just say, hope you had a great holiday. Because <laughs> it's not enough. They can't show you three people have died so far this year in cell phone related. That doesn't sound impactful. That's more of a nuisance. You would drive by and go, three people, learn how to drive, asshole, and you keep going. There'd be no empathy. They gotta crank it over till it hits that mark and then splash you with it because they think if they show it high enough, you're gonna go, oh my god, we should stop all the other distractions I have on the road. And nobody cares. I find myself happy when I see that sign each day. I go, traffic's gonna be a breeze today. Hey, there's nine less people on the road than there were yesterday. <laughs> Rooting for it to roll over like the Powerball. I'm not trying to condone death. I'm just saying a few for the good of many. I want to get there. Your safety. I don't care about that. It's money. You can't even use your cell phone when you drive anymore. That's quickly become a law in all 50 states. It's illegal to talk on your cell phone while you drive. And why? Because it's dangerous. That's what they tell you. It's dangerous. And you're going, it's dangerous? Maybe it is. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I'm not promoting it. I'm just, there's a lot of stuff that's dangerous while you drive that's not illegal. Why does that one get singled out? You can still eat a Big Mac while you're driving last time I checked, can't you? <laughs> That's dangerous. You ever do that? You bite into this end, the back end slops out. You're picking pickles out of your crotch at 80 miles an hour. Trying to scissor out a fry between the seats. You're not going to let that go to waste when you're on the road. You don't even know if that fry is from this experience or the last one, but you're going to fucking eat it. We're not banning drive throughs No, because that's a billion dollar industry. There's a lot of tax money generated through the drive through Your cell phone bill's a fixed bill. You only pay it once a month. The only way they can milk you for more is to ticket you on the in-betweens. That's what this country does. They figure out a way to make you addicted to an uh, a device, and then they find a way to penalize you for being addicted to that device. Every cell phone has a GPS app on the phone, and then they tell you that you can't use your phone when you drive. Well, when the fuck else would you need a GPS? Other than when you're driving. Well, I use mine when I walk my dog. Good, then you're gonna get hit by a car. That's more dangerous. They're hypocrites through and through. The same sign that tells you you can't use your cell phone also says in case of emergency, call 911. Are you trying to bait me into it? I'm getting mixed signals here. Yeah, I saw the abducted kid, but I don't want a ticket. You better make this reward high enough to offset this bullshit. 
Otherwise, good luck to Sarah. <laughs> it's dangerous. No, it's not. It's just money. You want money. MapQuest. That was dangerous. Remember MapQuest? <laughs> That's completely illegal. That was one of the most dangerous things I've ever used on the road. Remember MapQuest? You print out the wrong directions every single time. And they have advertisements on the side of them. Like you're supposed to read those while you're fucking driving. <laughs> wrong directions and nobody read them to you. What'd you do? You stuck them on the passenger seat next to you. 80 miles an hour. You're doing this. Fuck. <laughs> dangerous. No, it's not. When I was growing up, my dad, while driving, used to lean over, open the glove box, take out the road map, and open it over the entire dashboard. <laughs> while we were driving. And still have time to turn around and beat the shit out of me and my sister in the back seat. Because it wasn't illegal to hit your kids back then either. Never got into one accident, but it's dangerous. It's bullshit. You want money, take the money. Don't jam the law down my throat. I can handle getting screwed if you're honest about it, but don't shit on my face and tell me it's pudding. Just be honest about it. I get it. It's, it's a dumb law. It doesn't make sense on the... If it held merit, I'd drop the argument. My pride was shot a long time ago. I, I yell at strangers for a living. I don't have an ounce of dignity left in my own life. If I'm wrong, I'd say I'm wrong, but I'm not wrong. It's illegal to talk on your cell phone while you drive. The reason I think it's bullshit is because it's not illegal to talk to the passenger in the passenger seat while you're driving. <laughs> That's not illegal, so is it this? Because you have to phone up to your ear? That can't be it either, because it's also not illegal to drive with one hand. There's no law that says you can't drive with one hand. You can actually be resting your hand on your ear while talking to the passenger in the passenger seat. And that's not illegal. But if you called her from your phone to hers, that's illegal? That doesn't make any sense? You could be motorboating your wife while driving. And the only ticket you would get is for tinted windows because the cop couldn't see it better. 